Uh, in this topic, we want to explore the programming uh, case of reading values from from a from an analog source and process it in uh, the user program and uh, check the basic and crucial parameters of analog processing input analog processing block in delta v and uh, also we want to explore the uh, connection between the logic development in Delta V and the uh, face split creation and uh, HMI screen creation in uh, Delta V operate. Uh, the first step is to create a new control module, select the proper name in area A. Uh, in the properties uh, select uh, the scan rate of 100 uh, millisecond here and uh, op open this uh, module with control studio uh, we need to do some adjustment in the working environment here And uh, the first step is to insert the unlock uh, input processing block. And uh, we need uh, to input one input parameter in a floating point, another output uh, parameter to simulate the outlook processing values here. Uh, the, the basic programming is done here. Uh, we need to perform the uh, important uh, parameter selection. The first parameter uh, to be adjusted is uh, the simulation. We need to make it enable and the, the val this value is fit to the analog processing block. The next item is filtering filtering time. We select five seconds here, five seconds. And uh, outer scale is also important. If uh, you have, uh, you, you are measuring temperature you need to select the proper engineering unit here, engineering scales, the lowest range and the highest range, and the proper uh, range here. Like if you want to select the centigrade, you can select C here and all other available uh, engineering uh, units that are available here. Uh, we keep the default, that's the percentage, 0 to 100, we select this uh, default scaling. And uh, we have uh, operating mode, we have three operating modes, out of service, we have manual and automatic, we will test them uh, in the simulation mode. And uh, we have the low limit and low low limit. For low low limit, we select 10. For low low limit, we select 10. And for low, we select 20. For high high limit, we select 80. And for high high high, we select 90. Uh, the, the other important uh, parameter here is IO in. If you have access to physical channel, you can select the physical channel uh, that's configured in your system. We don't have access to physical channel here. Uh, 
when you connect your transmitter to the controller analog input, the actual controller analog input, you can uh, fetch that signal from this parameter. We don't have it here, so we keep it blank. And uh, the other important uh, parameters are um, high act, high high act. These are binary signals that shows uh, we, we pass the high limit. This shows that we pass the high high limit. We need to assign alarms for, for, uh, for both of them. For high limit, we need to change the type to high, high alarm, and it's enabled here, and it should be a warning. It's not, high, high alarm is not critical. Again, for high, high alarm, the type should be changed to high, high, and it's a critical, it's a critical alarm. Uh, the next signals that uh, we should assign alarm um, is a low and low low act. For low, we change the type to low, and it's a warning, and it's enabled. Again, for uh, low low. A low low alarm enabled and it's uh, critical. All enabled and the priority critical warning, critical warning, and we save. I think it's possible now, it's possible to function test. First, we assign the control module to the available. Uh, controller here we don't have the controller so we assign it to the available to, to this engineering PC and then download for simulation mm -hmm. it's done we go online for function test we can select uh, you can say parameter one to apply values here. Parameter one is zero and we have the low and low low alarm. Parameter one I change to fifty here. And we say we see that uh, we are passing the we are passing the low and low low alarm. We they are they are gone. Uh, you can see the um, uh, you can see the um, defective the um, the uh, defective the filtering time here, you don't have this jump, and uh, when we apply the jump jump values here, the, the, these values are a smooth thing. We change the input to 82 to see the high alarm. Yeah, the high alarm is active, and again change to 95 to see the high high alarm. Yeah, it's this is the high alarm, high high alarm, and if you want to have more, if you want uh, more information about the block, like the uh, filtering uh, PVF time, uh, you, you can simply right click on the block, and uh, what's this? Click on this, and find find out more about the block. As an example, this filtering uh, PVF time is used to make the uh, steps in input make the make the steps in input smoother.
and, it, and they are very useful. This this option is very useful in case of uh, chaotic analog input signal. Uh, it's necessary to mention that most of the transmitters uh, they have this option to uh, filter the analog input and then send them to the uh, the PLC or DCS platform. Uh, the next step is to change the mode. This is the automatic mode. We get the signals from input and process them like filtering and anything else and uh, put them in output. The next mode is testing uh, the manual mode. Uh, when system in manual, you can uh, apply changes manually. And in case of out of service, when you put the system in out of service mode, the last value is frozen on uh, on output. Uh, we go to automatic mode again to have the flow of the no the natural flow of signals that's all i hope uh, you find something uh, new here and please uh, subscribe us follow us on social media and thanks for watching